Hey, Wing Addicts! What's going on? What's it's going your on? pal Tommy, Wing Chef Ryan. We're in Milford, Connecticut. We looked on the Wing Addicts app and it said, Hair of the Dog. Hair of the Dog it is. Give it up for the Wayne Addicts. Hey gang, we are inside right now and we are at 128 Bridgeport Avenue in the village of Devon, side of Milford. And you know what, if the walls of this place could talk, actually, the walls in this place do talk, but if, this, if the building could actually talk, it would tell you that it was Cumberland Farms 50 years ago and it's had just a story that's gone on and on to the point where we're sitting in, in the hair of the dog today, and I think this is probably what it was meant to be. This place is so cool inside. You walk in, you feel like you belong here. You feel like you're at a park. You, you feel like you're in Key Largo almost. You, the street out front should be a beach. And it's got an outdoor patio. It's got a, a nice dining room with a it was family style, you know, games for kids, bring your family in. It's got a bar and the signs on the wall just make you happy. You know, you just kind of, you walk in and say, wow, I think I'm going to stay here a little while. Uh, <laughs> right, you saw some of the things on these menus. Yeah, they got an insane menu here. They got eight ounce burgers. They're all Black Angus Prime. They have uh, house-made buffalo chicken egg rolls, house-made Philly egg rolls. They have a fish and chips that I heard is one of their number one sellers along with their burgers. They got some pizzas here. They've got a lot of stuff to put. They also have wings. So we're going to get after a couple of them here, but before we do, I want to tell you what made us so excited to come here. Well, you know what? There's a million things that made us excited to come here, but this oh, yeah. is this is classic, all right? Sandra Briggs, she lives walking distance right here. She's born and raised right down the street from here. When she was 12 years old, it was a pizza place. She started working here stuffing cannolis. Uh, it became different things after that. She became a waitress at a young age and started making money and, and got excited about the scene, helping people, being around people, being social. Then it became a bar. She tended bar here for years and years, and then all of a sudden there was a couple of knucklehead owners at the last place, and she they fired her. They fired her because she didn't want to wear uh, uniforms. Uh, we'll leave it at that. So what do you do when you get fired from a place where you belong? Well, she took a year off. COVID happened, and she said, you know what? I'm going to buy it. Bought it. She bought it. Now she owns it. She changed it to Hair of the Dog. She made it what it is now, and I guess it's probably always had the ghosts in here. You can feel the ghosts when you walk in. The ghosts are feeling great. And she just kind of added her personality back to it. When you walk in, you can't, you can't miss it. It's, it's a great, inviting atmosphere. It is. I mean, no matter where you are, who you're talking to, you just feel welcome. You feel like you're home. I have a feeling everybody who comes in here knows each other too. It's just kind of that type of cheers type of feeling, you know? Like a cooler, beach-like cheers. There's there's 13 wing flavors on the menu. They make all their own stuff here, right? They make all their own yep. sauces in house? Everything made in house, everything from scratch. Right, we've got a couple on the table right now. We got Chipotle, Ranch Dry Rub. We got Chicken, Scarpello. 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 Or if you're like, right off the turnip truck, Scarpariello. Scarpariello. When you spell Scarpariello, or is it, I've always thought it was chicken Scarpiello. Uh, Scarpello. Spelled Scarpariello, if you want to sound it out. However you say it, I it's, can't wait to freaking eat it. I've never had it on wing before. You know, we've never seen it on a wing menu before, at a restaurant anywhere, ever. Um, so this is going to be our first time trying it. Right, let's go get it. What do you got on it? It's got the peppers on got there. Pickled cherry peppers, sliced sauteed onions, garlic, basil, white wine, butter, probably a little bit of lemon in there. That's the classic dish. Oh. And it looks delish. It's everything you expect in the dish, but on wings. And it's life changing. I have had this dish so many times in restaurants. It's one of my go tos. Gosh, the juice on there. Just look at that. I've never, never had it on With the sauce on these, 
It's not a way that you need to look to be crispy, you just want it to be juicy. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that meat right off. This tastes as good as it in there. any chicken scarpaello I ever had in my life. Except it's on wings, which makes me 10 times happier. That is awesome. You know, the origin of this flavor, right? Back in Italy, named after, at least as legend would have it, the cobbler, which was a, the cobbler was a, a big profession back in Italy, the shoemaker. They think that they came up with the name because of uh, either after a hard day's work, it was just easy to throw all these ingredients together real quick in a pan to make chicken, or we've heard that how a cobbler, if you can picture the, the shoemaker with a bunch of the tacks sticking out of his mouth while he's working, with chicken bones instead. I kind of like that image. <laughs> I'd like to see you like that. However you like the image, it's still delicious. It is awesome. That is a great flavor, unlike any way we've ever had. You know what? And that sauce on there? I want to get a straw and just drink that. Oh yeah, my God, just get some bread and stuff that up. That is, that is so good. This makes, this makes my all-time top three wing flavors I've ever had. And only one restaurant has it, so I guess you know where to come find it. This one, Rye, I'm not sure about. We got the dry rub. You know me, I'm more of a wet rub kind of guy. Uh, cut. <laughs> not really. We're at the hair of the dog. And you know what? When Sandra opened this place, she wanted to rename it, of course. And she said, she had always said while she was a bartender, if I ever open my own place, I'm going to name it Hair of the Dog. Because maybe once a day, every two days, somebody comes in and says, I need the Hair of the Dog. What a perfect name. What a perfect name. So you know what? This is the kind of the motto this place turned into. This is the neighborhood bar you wish was in your neighborhood. And I'll tell you what, that's a fact. If this was in my neighborhood, I would have a lot of problems. A lot more problems. Right. Uh, a lot more problems. Let's eat this wing. So this one is Chipotle Ranch Dry Rub. Chipotle Ranch Dry Rub. Would you dip that in ranch? Oh, I would. Also, they got their homemade blue cheese here. It's a nice creamy blue cheese. Oh, my God. Great flavor. Man. Lots of blue cheese flavor. Creamy. The wing itself, a little spicy. Smoky from that Chipotle. Normally, when I eat a dry rub wing, I'm ex it's going to be salty. And a lot of times I'm catching sweet that comes in here, neither. It's not too salty. It's peppery. Oh, yeah. It's peppery. And if you're a, you're a flavor, too. It's not blowing your head off hot, but it's got that nice tingle. Your tongue gets tingly, your lips get tingly. This is a, it's a nice, delicious flavor. Is that what you're dipping into? Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Why do they call it blue cheese? It's white. Because it makes you sad if you don't have it. You're blue. That's true. Like a blue Christmas without you. Right. I think that was ranch. That was ranch. This goes great with a ranch. A lot of wing addicts are ranch haters. Ranch dressing works great with certain wing flavors. Definitely works with this. I like ranch with barbecue wings. A lot of times, though, you don't need anything with your wings. Red chicken, scarpello, I would not dip that in anything except for the extra sauce on the bottom. That's incredible. Oh, is that butter? Yeah, butter, white wine, garlic, everything. Just basically, it's Italian blood on the plate. Okay. Hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. You know what? I would classify this as a wing joint, even though there's a million other things in here you would like just as yeah. much. With, with, with 13 wing flavors on the menu, and this especially, it's a wing joint. It's high on our list. I give it two wings up. And if you're looking for a unique wing to try, you gotta come down and try those. Those oh. are awesome. Wing addicts approved. Wings up. Get here, gang, wings up. <laughs>